a startling new security breach at one of the airports used by the hijackers on 9-11. A high-ranking member of the security team at Newark International Airport was arrested today. After nearly 20 years in his crucial post, and ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila has that. Remember this, an infamous breach of security at Newark International, the country's 14th largest airport, serving the New York City area. A passenger walks past a vacated security checkpoint to kiss his girlfriend goodbye, and then returns to the sterile area, shutting down the airport for six hours and delaying flights around the world. A breach that was reported to the bosses at TSA headquarters. But a report released today charges that nearly half of the security breaches at the nation's top airports go unreported to the head office. Critics say the lack of reporting makes it more difficult to spot dangerous weaknesses in the system just a week after American aviation came under attack again by al-Qaeda using new tactics and new bombs. New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg, who demanded the Inspector General report, says this report identifies a gaping hole in our airport security system. And today, more trouble for Newark Airport. This longtime security supervisor was arrested for using the identity of a New York City man murdered 20 years ago. He did not work for the TSA. He was in private security, but had access to sensitive areas of the field. The TSA says in a statement it is working to enhance its oversight system to more accurately report, track and analyze the trends that are so disturbing to the Inspector General.